It's real like a dream, my whole real go on My baby let me know, my whole real go on Only you know my me, my whole real go on Your mind never go, my whole real go on 大家好，欢迎来到本周的伦敦看个球。今天我们来到了球场球场，一场 PL2 的比赛。呃，热刺和阿森纳的 U23。那大家肯定很好奇什么是 PL2。PL2 就是一些在一线队当中打不上比赛的年轻人，不能这么荒废嘛，每天闲着也不好。所以英超就组织了这个在二十三岁以下球员来踢的 PL2。他们都是一些非常有希望的新星，比如说现在热刺的卢克阿莫斯，还有之前阿森纳的艾。艾迪，那个是叫什么来着？艾迪恩库提。U 二三不仅有 PL 二，还有 U 二三青年组总杯。像去年青年组总杯就是切尔西踢阿森纳，当时也是非常非常火的，也有很多人看。虽然这一场比赛大家看到没有什么人呐、啊，但是还是有一些看头的吧。那我们刚刚拿到了今晚出场的球员名单，我给大家介绍我认识的几个人吧。在阿森纳这边，大家可能比较熟悉的一个名字就是这个。第八这个 Joseph Willock， 威洛克，这次那边大家比较认识的可能就是 Brandon Austin， 然后其他人好像我也不太认识，不过没关系，大家看看他们的表现吧，可能有机会是未来的星星哦，以后的德里阿里可能就从这里出来，或者是以后的谁呢？维尔贝克。<笑>这、uh, PL2 leagues, league games often. I would say maybe one or two a season. Yeah.、Um, because of work commitments, because of the first team. Yeah.、Um, can't always get the time, but I can come. You know, I, I come when I can, especially a big game like Tottenham. Wow, you guys today why do you want to come to watch the U23 match? Because I've been here for about a year, and then basically, uh, uh, team matches, I can see them all the time. Ah. So, whether it's one or two or two, I'm basically in the match and the match. If there's time, I'm there. Can you name any of the players? Players who promoted from the youth team to the first team. What they're in the first team now? Yeah. Wow. What I used to see back in the youth team. Yeah. Got promoted. Um. We've probably purchased them all in, haven't we? Aaron Ramsey, we purchased in. Yeah. Ashley Cole was a great youth yeah, player yeah, yeah. that got promoted, but he obviously、um, saw the money and ran. Yeah. So no, I can't think of any first teamers that got promoted up from the ranks. It is Mitla Nelsis. Is he? Who? Mitla. Uh, Mitla. Mitla and Nels. Uh, the defender. Oh, okay. Yeah, you might be right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He is there. You, yeah, it would be tough to name. Yeah. I don't know what happens with the recruitment, but、uh, it'd be nice to see a few more homegrown players get promoted up the ranks. Um, by heart. Um, I'm, I'm really not that strong with names. Um, there、yeah. are some Mason Mars. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mason Mars. Um, and、um, Waylock. Ah, his brother is playing today. Yes, yes, yes. I lost a bit of track. Who is?、Um, yeah. Alone at the moment, and who yeah. stays? Um, yeah, yeah, me too. Sometimes I confuse by the name. Yeah, there's one of the strikers, one of the young strikers. I don't know if he's still here. Yeah, yeah.、Okay. Adi, 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 and Ankati. Ankati.、Yeah. Yes. Right. I don't know if he's. Yeah, very good, very good. They are. Emil Smith Rowe, really talented. That kid there, Xavier, the number seven, really talented. Yeah.、Um, and then of course he's still got like a lot of、um, of the players, the first team players that will probably, when I say first team squad players, that will drop into that. 那么说到阿森纳，最近最大的事情就是阿森纳的欧联被分组，阿森纳和切尔西都被分在了很安全的组。阿森纳的组里面有切尔西上个赛季打欧冠的对手卡拉巴赫，然后还有啊里斯本。竞技，那另外一支队是沃尔斯卡拉，他是乌克兰的。那么这几支球队在自己的联赛当中，可能上个赛季踢得很好，所以能够进入欧联杯。但是这个赛季他们的排名都不怎么样。阿森纳是非常安全的，可以进入下一轮。但是一个很大的问题是，他们这些比赛可能都卖不出票去。哎，这是比较揪心的。我们待会去问一些阿森纳球迷，看他们怎么看吧。呃、uh, ，Have you noticed today's、uh, Europa League draw? Yeah, my son and I watched it on the、uh, BT Sport、uh, website, so、uh, we're quite excited about it. How, how do you think? 
I know that Sporting uh, Club de Portugal are with yeah. the best team in pot two, yeah. so that could be potentially quite difficult. But the other teams, winnable. It's a bit of a distance to travel, but we should be okay, home and away. Mm, who, who you think is the biggest trouble for Arsenal in Europa League teams? Well, it's Sporting Lisbon because they're the best team left in it, but then they've lost a lot of their players. Yeah. A lot of the players that got them there yeah. have moved on. So you know, I, I think even Sporting Lisbon, I'm not the Sporting Lisbon of last season. So we should really walk that group. Carabag. The other team I never even yeah, yeah. until today. Yeah, so, yeah. you know, yeah. Arsenal, they, they shouldn't have any trouble getting out of that group whatsoever. Um, yeah. It's just, as I said, the distances. But I think I think what the strategy would probably be would be strong yeah. team in the home games. Yeah. Win those. And then the away games. The away games, um, just, you know, you see a lot of youngsters that you saw playing it. Yeah, they, they, they're pretty good. 我觉得阿森纳这个小组的形势是非常好的，因为对我们来说可以给年轻球员很多机会去锻炼一下，而且我看了一下这个来自对手级不同国家是吧？葡萄牙的、阿塞拜疆、还有乌克兰，对啊，
I yeah. really, really enjoyed it. I'll have to get back out of very soon. And Didi as well. Didi and you. Didi, I don't know why they like Didi. Why is that? <laughs> he's so like, yeah. he's so passionate, you know. Yeah, he's, very, he's a very passionate yeah. friend, uh, to be fair. Like, yeah. He's a very... He's a very good guy, a very passionate guy. Yeah. He loves Arsenal. Um, and I heard he's bigger. We, we have to come over there. It's very safe. Yeah, yeah. We have to come over there. It's very safe. We have to come over there. It's very safe. We have to come over there. It's very safe. We have to come over there. It's very safe. We have to come over there. It's very safe. We have to come over there. It's very safe. We have to come over there. It's very safe. We have to come over there. It's very safe. We have to come over there. It's very safe. We have to come over there. It's very safe. 哇，今天真是虽然人很少，但是非常开心的一天。我们的节目来说是什么都有了。好，那么我们今天的节目就到这里，大家记得点赞、转发、关注，然后我们会抽出一位观众送出我们的阿森纳和西汉姆的赛刊。那谢谢大家了，我们下期再见。